brand new unit. So here we get the, this is the replacement SG4000. It comes with the propane hose for the propane bottle, the DC power card. You got the tool kit. And you got the, the adapter. You see here? And you got your funnel to go ahead and um, put your oil in. There we go. And here we go. Brand new replacement. So, here is the other one. This is one I'm gonna return back to EcoFlow. And this is a new one. Brand new in the box. All right, so here is the replacement unit. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, what need to get done first before you actually put this in the service. So first you have to connect the battery. Remove this tape. Gotta open up this compartment here. So it came with everything you need, the tool kit. So I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. Gonna get a screwdriver out of here. So this is a screwdriver. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. This panel just snaps right out. So, I see this is the dipstick. The oil goes here. And the battery, you connect the internal battery. This one, it looks like, see it's disconnected. So here is the, hmm. oh, the end right here. So you see this connect, so pretty much, you're gonna have to connect the, the battery, the internal battery comes disconnected. So they connect it. So I'm trying to do this with one hand. So bear, work with me, bear with me. One second. All right, so now I have the bat internal battery connected. If I just go ahead and just switch it on. See there comes on the battery on here so then now this generator actually the battery actually charge while it starts so even though right now it's probably showing two bars it's going to charge itself after it starts on so it came on it came on so now the battery is connected so next i have to do is put the oil in there but then first i'm going to check the spark plug the spark plug is right in here in this compartment there is a spark plug right in there. I'm gonna remove the, I gotta remove the plug and check it. So I'm gonna pull it up, check it and reinsert All it right, back. So now that I got the spark plug out, I just inspected it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop like two to three drops of the Lucas, the, um, this lube, Lucas our, our lube into the spark plug hole. That's just to lubricate the piston, you know? Um, as you know, it's a brand new unit. So I'm just gonna put two to three drops of this lube into directly into the spark plug housing right, so i got the spark plug back into the unit it's i dropped two to three three drops of the lube into the spark plug housing next is to add the oil the oil goes into the same hole oil compartment the hole right here that what oil goes it comes in there's oil now there's no oil in there so we're showing that there's no oil in the unit as yet. So next step is to put oil in the unit. 
This here is the oil, is the filter. I'm gonna just check it. Yeah, it's lube. Just make sure that it's not dried. So it is lube. All right, so this is the oil I'll be using to put in the unit. The break-in engine oil 10W40 by Mod 2. All right, so I went ahead and filled it with oil. And this is the magnetic dick stick. I'll be replacing that one with. I got this off Amazon. Pretty long. So if I take this out, you see comparing it, the, this one's a little longer, but at the tip right there, is exactly where the marking of oh, focusing is really high yeah so tip of this going right there so that's pretty much good okay we use this okay want it as close as possible to, i guess to the bottom of the oil pan but um this should be good right. i haven't seen a longer one on amazon so i've been using this in my other unit so i'll be actually putting it in this one all right so here is the <coughs> magnetic dick sticking so i'm going to go ahead and close the unit up so now that I have the unit closed back up and on, since I dropped the, the lube into the spark plug hole, what I want to do is I want to um, go ahead and pull on the on the crank a couple times just to and also let it we'll give it a little oil flow. So I'm gonna pull just a couple times, not to start it. Just to pull it a couple times to get the lube and the oil flowing in the engine. It tells you to do it in the manual, so. Now, I guess this um, this one works with the propane. The first one, when I turn it on without the propane connected, this goes all the way to 100%. So now you see it stays at, at um, 888. So most likely this one's um, a good unit. I turn into gas now, should be the same thing. Goes to zero, zero percent. When I go to propane, it goes to 888. Do the same thing with the other unit. Turn it on. See if it goes up and it goes to 100%. It shouldn't be 100%, it should be 888 or 00. Or 88 or 00. When I go to gas, 0%. That's how it's supposed to work. So this one is defective, it's a defective unit. So I will have to drain the oil out of this one, put it in the box, and mail it back out to Echo 4.